Welcome to our lecture online and our second video on nuclear physics is still dealing with mass and the understanding of mass equivalent of nuclear matter, for example protons, neutrons, electrons and so forth. And uh, first of all we're going to look at the equivalence of atomic mass units in kilograms. And so what we can say is that one atomic mass unit is equal to one over Avogadro's number in grams. Now Avogadro's number, of course, if you remember, that's equal to one over 6.02214 times 10 to the 23 grams. And of course, if I want to convert that to kilograms, we then have to multiply that times the conversion uh, from grams to kilograms. So kilograms on top, grams on the bottom. One kilogram is 1,000 grams. We take the inverse of, let's see, 6.02214 e to the 23. Take the inverse of that and divide it by 1,000, and we get uh, this is equal to 1.66054 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. That's a minus right here, minus 27 kilograms. So here we have the conversion of atomic mass units to kilograms. And so since a proton is a slightly heavier or has slightly more mass, then an atomic mass unit, you can then see that the mass of a proton will be slightly bigger than that. So let's calculate that. So the mass of a proton is equal to 1.007276 atomic mass units. And if we want to convert that to grams, we have 1 over 6.02214 times 10 to the 23. That would be grams and convert that to kilograms. One kilogram is a thousand grams, and if we do that, let's see what we get. So we start with 1.007276, divide that by 6.022e, oh, actually I should make it a little bit more accurate, 1.007276 divided by 6.02214e to the 23rd, and then divided by a thousand equals so we get 1.6726 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. And in the same manner, we can convert the mass of an electron. So you say the mass of an electron is equal to 0 0.000548 58 atomic mass units converted to grams. So 1 divided by Avogadro's number and convert that to kilograms. And what do we get for the mass of an electron? So we get 0 0.0005458 divided by 6.02214 e to the 23rd divided by 1,000. And we get 9.10938 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. So now you should have a fairly good understanding of how to convert the mass of a uh, proton, an electron, a neutron, and so forth from atomic mass units to kilograms back and forth. But that doesn't tell you yet how we express sometimes the mass in terms of uh, energy. So let's find the energy equivalent, let's say, of a proton. So if we took all of the mass of a proton and completely convert to energy, we use the equation E equals mc squared that Einstein came up with. So energy is equal to the mass times c squared and so let's say energy of a proton is equal to the mass of a proton times c squared and the mass of a proton we just got it is 1.6726 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms multiply that times 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second squared and let's see what we get so 1.6726 e to the 27 minus, multiply times 3 e to the 8 squared equals, and so that is equal to 1.505 times 10 to the minus 10 joules. Now if we convert that to electron volts, 1 electron volt divided by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules, what do we get? Divide by 1.6 e to the 19 minus equals and so we get this is equal to 941 MEVs. 
actually slightly higher than what I was supposed to get, but of course I didn't use all the numbers to its most accurate amount. But anyway, this gives you an idea of how we can then convert the mass of a proton or the mass of an electron to what its equivalence is in MeVs. And so sometimes we can write the mass as the energy divided by C squared, so therefore the mass of a proton can be written as the energy, which is 941 million electron volts divided by C squared, and sometimes we use this methodology to write the mass equivalent of a proton. If we do the same for an electron, electron, let's try that. So the energy of an electron is equal to the mass of an electron times C squared. The mass of an electron we found to be uh, 9.10938 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. Multiply times C squared, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second squared. Let's see what we get here. So we have 9.10938. Let's try again, 9.10938 e to the 31. I'm messing up my buttons today. 9.10938 e to the 31 minus, there you go, times 3 e to the 8 squared equals, that gives us 8.198 times 10 to the minus 14 joules, and then convert that to electron volts. So we divide that by 1.6 e to the 19 minus equals, and we get 512 kilo keVs, kilo electron volt, so about a half a mega electron volt equivalent. So then if we find we want to express the mass in terms of its energy, we can say that the mass of an electron is equal to 512 keVs divided by c squared. And that would be another way of writing the mass of an electron in terms of its energy. Again, what that means is if we took a single electron and converted it completely to energy, we'd get this much energy out of an electron. And that's how we look at the energy equivalent of nuclear matter in terms of its mass.